as long as I can remember, I have struggled with my weight. I've always been big boned, but I was genuinely active as a kid and my size came in handy as a rugby player. When I left school and went to university, just like most students, my diet got worse, I started binge drinking, and I more or less just stopped exercising. In 2012, the scales topped 21 stones, so 135 kilos in new money, and yeah, I just desperately needed to do something about it. So I did. It was around the time of the 2012 Olympics and I was living near London and I was absolutely captivated by the whole thing and one event in particular, the triathlon. Um, and then there was these two brothers, the Brownlee brothers, and they were about the same age as me. They're from, just from, yeah, they're from near where I'm from. They were absolutely dominating the world stage and I found it awe-inspiring but it made me think about my own life choices and yeah, why they were doing something and I wasn't. In 2012, I could barely walk up the stairs without losing my breath, let alone complete a triathlon. But I was going to give it a try and six weeks later, I did. I was very slow and I didn't know what I was doing, but I finished. And that was the start of my journey to lose over 25% of my body weight. From there, I decided I was gonna come back the next year and beat my time and make sure I looked like I belonged. So I downloaded a training plan, bought a road bike, because that first race was done on a mountain bike, and set out to better myself the following year. The next year, I came back and I managed to knock over 35 minutes off of my time, and I finished in the top 50 out of about 600. In the following years, I moved to London and joined the triathlon club, Tri London, going to more and more races, pushing myself further and further, moving on to do Olympic and middle distance triathlons. After a while, I realized I really wasn't that into running or swimming, and I just ended up riding my bike more and more and more. Then, three years ago, I joined Alba Rosa and discovered crit racing and that whole process of developing and getting better and better started again. I think it's fair to say that I'm a completely different person to that person who started triathlons and cycling back in 2012. I now regularly cycle over 300 kilometers a week and it's fair to say I'm pretty fit and would have been mixing it at the front of races this year if it wasn't for COVID. Even though 35 kilos sounds impressive, it didn't happen overnight. It actually took many, many, many years of hard work and graft to get to this point, and I'm still not quite where I want to be. I have never set a time limit on when I wanted to get to a reasonable weight. This is because the fact that I was out exercising is far more important than the number on the scale, and I knew I would get there in the end. That's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed that little story about my background in cycling and how I've gone from being over 135 kilos down to the weight that I am now. Make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you next Sunday.